Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day cometh that shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. I bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shah, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Barak some to you, brothers, which I teach in this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, I want to go into a lesson on, you know, how Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah going to uh, completely wipe this place, America, off the map. And, you know, we go ahead and go get that. We go get, um, this is Amos chapter 9. In verse 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon a sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And, you know, when Yahweh bought Hashem, Yahweh Shai, when he saves the one, uh, when he destroys America, which is Babylon the Great, he's going to also save the 144,000 elect, okay? And, uh, you know, that day is fastly approaching us, you know? And let's go get Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the day, so like you, for behold, the Lord, you know, for behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You know, the Lord, he's going to come back when 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 America, you know, when those nuclear missiles are being uh, shot off throughout the ends of the earth and they're headed over here. You know, that's when the chariots are going to appear, you know, and they're also going to, um, you know, that's how the brothers are going to be, you know, being scarcely saved. OK, the brothers are going to be scarcely saved when those nukes are in the sky and those chariots are also going to be shooting, you know, laser beams at people, turning people into powder, you know, and brothers are going to be, uh, you know, getting beamed up. That's how the one hundred and forty four thousand elect will be saved. You know, out of Jacob's trouble, you know, out of, you know, that that lake of fire, you know, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many, you know, because if you if you are two third, you know, you're going to die on this side. You know, if you're a heathen, you know. You're going <laughs> to, it's only two, two things that can happen. Either you're going to die on this side or you're going to be one of the first to go into uh, captivity, you know? And, um, let's get a uh, second Peter. This is second Peter chapter three and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that there are therein shall be burned up. OK, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief and is going to come as a thief in tonight to you people, you know, that's not heeding the words of the prophets. man. I mean, I. You know, the, the the normal, you know, the average person can look, you know, look at the world, look on the news and, you know, and you could just tell that some ain't right. But, you know, you people, you know, especially you two thirds, Jake, you're, you're blind, man. You're blind you know, and, and with the cares of this world, man. You you putting all your stock into, you know, a place that's falling, you know. And, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, is about to build his kingdom. You know, he's been building this kingdom by way of the prophets, you know. But two people are, you know, you, you're too stuck in your stuck in your ways. And let's go also get um This is First Thessalonians. Okay. 
This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You know, and this is, hey, and you people are not prepared. You know, you're not watching. You know, you're not watching. For when they say, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Because there ain't no way up out of this. Unless the Lord be with you, there's no escape. Only the Lord can deliver you from what's about to happen, from what's about to come on this earth. Jacob's trouble, you know, the sea hip, you know, and ultimately, you know, the lake of fire. Only the Lord can deliver you, you know, and the Lord is only going to deliver his elect, you know. And when you finally try to come around, you know, when 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 prophecies get the get the, you know, popping off, it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late. The Lord is not going to hear your cries, you know, even if you did, you know, pick up on his name. You know, he's not going to he's not going to hear you. He's not going to listen to you. So. Uh, and this is uh, verse four. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake ye as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor darkness therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober all right so that's pretty much all i wanted to go into on that lesson and that last part was pretty much self-explanatory you know the one hundred and forty-four thousand. you know keep on your watch man keep doing the work you know keep having faith you know and with that so answered and said unto them when it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he... Revealeth his secret unto the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost.